Welcome to the Vault of Incarnates, this will be a guide quickly covering every boss mechanic on normal difficulty. Eranog is quite simple, for tanks just swap when you have too many stacks, he does a cleave of fire damage so dodge that, random players get marked with a circle and arrow, and after a few seconds they will place portals from where adds come from. Try to stack them together and cleave them down, they will fixate people with kill orders so don't let them reach you, Pillars also get spawned from the ground that damage and knock people near them that break when he uses a roar so avoid their explosive spread. At 100 energy he spawns a ring of fire that keeps closing in that is held together by elementals. Kill one of them to get out before you get trapped in and then it just repeats until he's dead. Teros is a big elemental boy, he marks a random player with a big soak circle that needs people in to help soak the damage. At the same time multiple people get marked with a smaller circle that will pop up earth pillars so stack those together too in the big circle, positioning them in a line either all 6 together or 3x3 three three, and the tank will get a mechanic that they need to position so that he slams the pillars, since they do permanent AoE rate damage once they are up and a bit more once they get destroyed for a few seconds. So if you have really good healing, you might be able to destroy them all together, if not you can do 3x3 three three instead. When he reaches 100 energy, he does a cone attack that will make a part of the arena unplayable, like the Nitrius. If he does this 4 times the entire arena will be covered up and you will wipe, so it is a bit of a DPS check to get him down in time before he covers the entire room. Primal Council is a pretty interesting fight, you have to fight 4 bosses at the same time that don't have a shared health pool, and it's best to kill them all around the same time since they will leave a dot after they die on the entire raid. Only the fire and the earth ones can be taunted, so the tanks keep swapping them while the other two hit people randomly but those two can be kicked. The Fire Primalist does a cone of fire, point that away from the raid, pillars will keep spawning from the ground and players will get marked with a lightning dot that stacks and is spread to other players if they're getting too close, if you have this get near a pillar to get rid of it there. A big red circle will mark two players, you want those two to stand together near pillars, breaking them and leaving a fire area on the ground, get out of it. The Frost Elemental also gives frost stacks to players, and if they get to 10, they get frozen, so get them out, but remove the dot, walk into the fire zones on the ground, and then keep repeating all those mechanics and try to kill them all together. We somehow killed one faster and had to deal with a dot and kill the last three together, but it's best to kill all of them together. Senart makes you deal 10% reduced damage if you have Arachnophobia. This is an interesting fight since you need to keep moving up while also fighting for half of the raid. She does web blast attacks on the tanks that will need to keep swapping every few stacks so they don't get one shot, there will be small adds that explode with green poison when they die, and a big spider ad, kill that one first. She will also throw ice on the ground that damages you if you sit on it and makes you slide on it, some people will get web dots that put web zones on the ground, don't stand on them, when running up the stairs she will pull you towards her so don't stand near the edge, if you fall down you get webbed at the bottom of the room and good luck getting back up in time. There will also be blue circles around people, spread them out. Keep going up and repeat all that including killing the big spider ad on every level until you reach the top. Once here she comes down and the entire area will become an ice skating ground so mind how you move and care not to fall down. The blue circles will come back and leave a frost area where they expire so don't enter into that. She also webs people and the small spiders return. The green poison they drop can also take webbed people out don't fall down and kill her. Datia now takes the form of a wind elemental and throws a bunch of tornadoes around. She has a stacking attack that knocks tanks back, so as usual swap after a few stacks. The blue circles return that spread to people and you will see tornadoes around, don't enter into them or they will knock you up, and once in a while she will move them in the direction of the arrows in front of them so dodge that. Then she pulls everyone towards the middle with cyclone, so use some movement speed abilities and don't get pulled in or she will knock you up hard. At 100 energy she spawns 2 adds, when an ad dies it pushes everyone in the opposite direction so kill them near the edge of the map one by one so people don't fall off, and do it quickly so it doesn't happen at the same time as Cyclone. Keep repeating that and avoid falling off the map until she's dead, the biggest challenge in this fight is gravity. Kurog is another quite interesting boss, the room is divided into 4 zones, each allocated to an altar, earth, fire, frost and storm, and he gets different abilities based on where he is standing and you need to move him around those 4 areas to get rid of his buffs. At 100 energy he summons 2 adds based on the last 2 zones you went in. Don't stand too long into an altar since they will stack up rate damage, so you need to keep moving every half energy and kill a set of adds and repeat that with the last 2 zones. Heal all the adds and then he gets empowered, 
You can decide what order you want to do with your raid. We tried multiple versions, but killed him with Earth, Storm, Fire and Frost. Don't stand behind a tank since he does a push. He spawns rings that need to be soaked and does big AoE circles that you need to move out with on the Storm Altar. On the Earth Altar he does an AoE ring explosion that you need to avoid. On the Fire Altar he drops fire zones around everyone, so move out with them. And on the Frost Altar he marks two people with a soak, help them out. The four adds also have mechanics. Those spawn based on the previous two zones you were in with the boss. Focus the Earth one first. It does stacking damage and AoE rings. The Storm one does an AoE that should be taken away from the group. The Fire add drops fire pools. And the Frost one has a dome while casting great AoE damage. Get inside it to not die. Then after all four adds are dead, it's just the boss. You can still move him around to avoid stacks until he's dead, but don't let him reach 100 energy again or he will wipe the raid. For Broodkeeper Diurna, you will need to break her eggs to be able to drop her health. Tanks should move her around every egg and tank swap as always when tanks have too many stacks. She will drop her staff on the ground casting some lightning. Someone should go inside it and use the extra ability and make the lightning chase them towards eggs, making them explode or she makes them rapidly hatch and spawns adds from inside. Adds will spawn at the edge of the room and DPS should focus them first and don't let them get near the boss or they will be healed especially the bigger frost dragons, since they do AoE frost damage. She spawns fire circles on people, spread out and move out of the fire, as well as raid wide AoE and slow that can be dispelled. Spread out with the lightning, once all the eggs are broken or after 5 minutes, she gets a stacking buff that increases her damage and upgrades her abilities a bit, so kill her as fast as possible. And welcome to Razagath! This is where the fun begins, look at how many abilities she has. You want to divide your raid into two even groups for phase 2 one going left and one going right. Use heroism on pool since it's a long fight and you can use it twice. In phase 1 there are small circles all around, avoid them to not get damaged and stunned. Tanks should swap so they don't get eaten alive. Three random people will keep getting big blue circles, drop those near the edge of the platform. They will create a storm zone on the ground. You want to stand with your back towards it when she flaps her wings so that you don't get pushed off the map. And she also does a lightning breath in a random direction that one shots you, so avoid that. She will also spawn orbs on everyone, those instantly die if they get CC'd, so kick or interrupt or stun them. At 65% health, she flies up and you need to go on the left and on the right side of the platform with the two divided groups. You will get pushed onto the next two platforms, where there will be three adds, with more smaller adds spawning near the big one once they get interrupted from their spell casting after their shield is broken. Cleave those down together with the small adds one by one, and avoid her lightning napalm strike. You can see the direction she will go in, so get out of her way and try to finish off both sides of adds at the same time. Then everyone goes on the fourth platform, where she will steal Tedius's ability from Naxxramas and give people plus or minus battery charges. Stuck together in on two marks, everyone with plus on a side and everyone with minus on the other, and while stacked everyone does more damage and healing and you need to break her shield. If you don't, she will deal raid wide AoE damage and will probably wipe you. She also casts Tempest Wings that push everyone. You want to get through this fast so you can use some movement speed abilities here and some really big blue circles that slow you down. Try to explode them away from the raid or they will damage the entire raid. And at 100 energy, she repeats the shield. We had to deal with this shield three times. Then when the Vault Integrity reaches zero, she flies up in the air again and spawns a big ad and small adds that will run towards the big ad. CC the small ones and cleave them down and don't let them reach the big ad or they will buff it. The ad will also spawn lightning balls, avoid those as well as the lightning napalm strike she does again. After the big ad is dead, everyone must go towards the first platform and you will get pushed back there for the final phase. Here a battle royale ring will close in on you, so it's a bit of a DPS check. But you will probably have heroism back if you used it on pool. Again avoid all the breaths and lightning circles on the ground and she still casts Tempest Wings too and spread out with the big circles and finish her off before the map is completely covered. And that's it for the entire raid. Good luck wiping 100 times for 20 hours and just getting an item from the final boss and I hope this helped you.